check us out. So I'm just rolling out of the hole and I'm freaking out a little bit because it it looks epic. It might be a cologne. I don't know what it is. I know it's Pawnal. I can tell you that right now. Here we go. Oh my gosh, what is All this? Right guys, here we are back at it again. Sean's in the hole. We got a stone ladder. See right there is the corner. See the first stone going down the wall. He's hitting stone right here. It goes up under this way, maybe a couple feet. Decent sized. I'm gonna call it a rectangle. I'd say. <coughs> but uh, I'm not really sure of age yet. We know it's at least 1890s, turn of the century. But we have 1940s. 1940s. 41.2. Oh, that's a good age, Billy. 48 foot deep. <laughs> but we have a few pits probed out here and uh we're gonna dig them all not today but we're gonna dig them all yeah, today today the back to you is when stuff starts showing all right check us out down in here oh, oh looks like a full chamber pot maybe is my butt crack hanging out oh there's a bottle up here check us out yeah, there's a bottle on the top. E.W. Logan Pure Extracts out of Baltimore. It looks 80s. Yeah, might, yeah, probably early 80s. Pretty cool little pool there. Uh, but what is shame about it? What have we got? Is it whole? It's whole. It's complete. Complete chamber pot, guys. Check that out. See if there's anything in it. Well, what we got in there? Poop. We got poop. Probably a piece of glass that's gonna cut the crap out on me. What's this? Belt buckle. I wish. Gun barrel. It might be a gun barrel. We can raffle that. <laughs> That is nice. All right, I'm letting Billy in the hole. I'm gonna clean it out a little bit. But yeah, there's there's stuff happening back there. Billy says he's got something down here in the hole. What you got, Billy? Oh, a little finger lamp. It's a it's a little banner. <laughs> a little banner finger lamp. Pretty early too. 70s, 80s, got stars all around it. Yeah, look at it. This is a little winding thing there. That's really cool. So he's pulling out lantern. You see this wavy, big wavy top on these, usually 70s, 80s stuff. Another pit. See the ones we did yesterday. Not much glass come out of them. Chamber pot you guys saw and stuff and whatnot. But we got another hole here. This is a wood liner. Normally the wood liners in this town are earlier. That pit, I don't know, it might have been 80s. Had some 70s stuff broken in it. But uh we got Billy just threw me a piece of uh early pottery. Yeah. So, we're getting down in it. We got a little bit of stove ash coming out. Still a little bit of glass down there with the probe, but uh, we'll get back to you when stuff starts happening. Well, that one was completely empty. Just a couple pieces of glass, broken, druggets, embossed. Uh, that's about it though. We're uh, finishing filling this and there's one right where the probe's at. We can get down in it. Hopefully, eventually, we get a pawnal pit here. No, there's pawnal pits. These houses All right, guys, old. so we were in this pit. It is early. This is the first thing to come out. Mocha-ware chamber pot. Look at that. It's missing the handle, but... Daggone. We're early. 
these things are usually broke to pieces so that's a good sign look at the seeds that come out of it look at all these seeds give me the pop pop give me the pop pop <laughs> all right guys we're gonna mess around down in here and get back to these Look at this, literally Boom. freaking two seconds later, I put the shovel back in it, a bitter sticking out. Oh my gosh. What do we got? Oh yeah. It's way down there. It's whole. Oh, it's a hostetter. Yeah. Hostetter stomach bitters, and this is a sticking nice one. Yeah. Look at all the seeds plastered to it. Yes, sir. Let's see what kind of lip we got on this bad boy. It's a nice early one. Glass half on the bottom? Probably. These early ones, there should be. Yep. William McCauley. Yep. Pittsburgh. Is it a stomach bitters? Yeah, stomach bitters. Woohoohoo! 70s. I mean, that one could be 60s. Six hoes. We're gonna get, we're gonna get back to it. Yeah. All right, guys. Billy's got a flask down here. <laughs> oh, it is, isn't it? Is it historic? Oh, it's got a hole in it. It ain't historic, but it's early, bud. It says something on it. No, it don't. I swear to God. Clyde glass. It's, it's wheeling, isn't it? Main Street, West Virginia. It's wheeling. Piedmont. George W. Bush. I want to say Rob. Fuck, dude. It's Piedmont, isn't it? Main Street. I don't know, bro. Oh my gosh. Main Street, that's all it says. George something, something Main Street. Is it Paul? Oh, it's so close. I don't even care if there's a hole in it. This thing's epic, bro. It's loaded down here. I know, it's loaded up. Look at the rolled lip on that bad boy. What does it say? Uh, I don't know, we're, we'll get back to you. All right, the phone's a little steamy, but we're going with it. Billy's got some bottles in here. I'm gonna be right up above you, Billy. Hit it, Matt. You almost got me in the sack. Looks like another historical. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. You see it down there, Corey? Get over here on this side. Oh yeah, I do see it. See it down there, guys? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Billy. I hope it's another one of them. Is there more? Oh my goodness. It's a massive fucking flask. It's huge. It's massive. It's a big cork. It's, pr it's, it's price slick. We've dug them in other yards. What a size it's, that big it dog. is broke. Oh, it's it's a it's a historical. Oh, it's a sheave of wheat. Oh, it's got a hole. Oh, it's a Baltimore. Oh. Oh man, look at the size of that hunk. Oh my gosh. It's a smooth base or it's a uh, snap mold or whatever, but wow, guys. Look at this, two flies, they're both broke the same daggone way. Still display, is eh? Is that it? Base of a crock. Oh, lid, big old lid. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's insane. 
We'll get back to you. All right, guys. It has been a tough day. We dug a pit right here, and we kind of dug into the wall of another one over here. This pit was practically empty. We're pulling. This is what we're pulling out of this pit on the other side. Oh, what? Look at that iron pulling. That's disgusting. Uh, Cumberland, Maryland. That's a... Uh, I think a quartz and wicker. It's a. You want to show them this? Well, that, oh, geez, Billy. That's tiny. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that to Billy. <laughs> but uh, it's it's not a quartz and wicker. It's the other one, Borgman. It's a Borgman, porters and ales. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you these guys. It's a fifteen hundred dollar squat. Yeah. Meh. Oh, there's the, there's the top of it. Now that's the top of the quartz and wicker that come out broke right there. The ale, the porter will have a porter lip. But check this out. So I'm just rolled out of the hole and I'm freaking out a little bit. Because it it looks epic. It might be a cologne. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I know it's Pawnal. I can tell you that right now. Here we go. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, it's got a hole in it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is it's Honold. It's got a hole in it. It's got a lion on it or a horse or something. Oh my gosh. What is this? I don't even care that it's got a hole in it. It's freaking epic. Right here in the Wow. That's unbelievable. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, well, I'm going to scoop a couple more scoops and, and see what the frick's going on here. Oh, messed up. All right, guys, check this out. Craziness. Look at this over here. Ugh, pawnal pit. Broken soda. It's broken everything. Billy has a redware jug in the hole these never come out whole guys are always broke oh my gosh <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is. oh man yeah, billy perfect. oh my gosh look at that red wear jug it's so ancient wow anything on it probably not but you never know missing the handle but that don't even matter they just don't come out whole i don't know if that was a handle or not corey yeah look see was it uh -huh. it don't even matter yeah look for a stamp or something that thing's look at the lip oh my gosh that's the earliest crock you've ever dug isn't it oh yeah that's insane what, what is that 30? No, it's probably 40s, 50s, but wow. <coughs> I'm going to show everybody what we got going on over here. You guys ready for this? So here's what's come out today. We're going to start down here with a little rundown. These are Cumberland squat sodas and porters. Um, iron panel. Just disgusting iron panels. Iron panel. I mean, we got pieces of old ales coming out. Open panel. More iron panel sodas. I mean, just unreal. We got a broken wheeling flask. We got a broken Baltimore flask. You guys already seen that. You've seen the bitters and this little lady come out. She's just hardly broken. I mean, coming out of a pawnal pit, that little guy, that little girl's old. But unreal. Chamber pot, crazy looking marbles coming out. I mean, I would have never thought that this marble was as old as it is, but it must be because it came out of this hole. I have seeds on my fingers. But, yeah. Billy's still down there. It, there's 
Well, there was a bunch of glass underneath. He's getting down into that trashy part under that jug. And it's, hopefully it gets epic. All right, guys, so just rolled out a little puff here. A little flared lip. That's definitely open pawn. I just can't see it. There it is. Little open pawn. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're still working at it. Don't know what's going on down there because we're out of the pit. Still digging box so. though. All right. Still, still sweating up in here. Look at this. <laughs> you can already see. Let me get you back here. That's pawned. I wiped the base off. I didn't know what it even was. It's something pawned. Oh, there's rocks on each side of it. What is it? It's just slip. No. Oh, <laughs> what is it? T. Morris, proprietor and company. Druggist. Philadelphia. Open portal, baby. Oh my gosh. Wow. There's been some incredible broken stuff come out of this hole, guys. But, I mean, we're still getting some early bottles, so. And that daggone Redward jug. Yeah, Unfortunately, that is going to be it. Um, we had to stop recording because it started raining a little harder than what it was. It rained pretty much all day, around 50 degrees temperature, so we were, we felt like crap. We were uh, borderline hypothermic by the time we got done digging this hole. It was only about four foot deep tops, maybe five in some areas. Very strange pit. But um, here's some more of the stuff. I'm going to show you a little a couple pictures of some of the other stuff that came out, including a very, very nice shooter um, German onion skin that you're going to see here. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to be it for this week's video, and hope you guys tune in for next. There are a ton of epic digs coming up, so hold on to your seats.